Hey guys, welcome in. If you're new or just passing through to my channel, welcome. My name is Tam. I'm also known as the Enlightened Auntie. If you are returning, welcome back, squad. I am here today to do another general collective reading. We're not sign specific here. We're also gender fluid. I may say you and I'm talking to them. I may say them. I'm talking to you. Put yourself in the story wherever you seem to fit. Remember that time and energy are fluid, so I could be talking about the past, the present, or the future take only the parts that resonate leave the rest behind um, as you enter if you could please give the video a thumbs up so we can circulate into the algorithm i appreciate you guys for being here today um and thank you so much for everybody who's been i, I see you guys in the comments you guys have been working on comments i'm telling you the biggest support system that you guys are going to have right now is each other and i understand the necessity of needing to have people around you or at least in proximity that can relate to what we're going through right just like i said in the last readings i'm like a use those comments to support each other um you may not always have like folks that are close to you that really understand even i even hear myself sometimes telling telling my bestie like just some of the da random downloads that I get and I'm like and I know it sounds crazy I know she doesn't think I'm crazy but I'm like I know it sounds crazy it sounds crazy but um I just want to assure the rest of you that we're not crazy because I see it all in the comments just based on the amount of people that follow me on TikTok and that comment um and the like you know shorts on YouTube are only a minute but I usually take I extract like maybe five to seven minutes from the readings and post them on TikTok. And I can see just based on the interactions and all the comments and, and the likes from the comments in, you know, all over my TikTok that people resonate with these stories because this is real life shit. Like we're all experiencing to some degree elements of these stories, whether it's happened to you you know 20 years ago or whether it's happening to you right now and it's funny because i think um yesterday somebody commented in on one of my um reels like um something alluding to the fact that she's heard this story for the last two years and you know like when when is it going to finally happen and i replied and was like you know divine timing not our timing like we're all understanding that matrix and understanding that we're all like kind of connected to this web and there are stories that I have pulled up on the board that are very much happening today happening in real time right now but I can watch those stories I can watch some of those readings and I know for a fact because I've already lived it that I'm pulling on a storyline that took place more than you know 40 years ago because I'm old enough to remember. <laughs> so, and, and it's, it's part of the reason why I, like I, I always tell people, part of the reason why I lean into predictive astrology because everything happens cyclically. Yes, it's happening to us now. Some folks, it's happened to them years ago. Some folks, it hasn't quite caught up to them yet and they haven't experienced it yet. So all of these stories are relevant no matter when you actually get it. So, um, I appreciate you guys for being here and supporting my work and chiming in and confirming everything that I'm talking about because sometimes I don't actually hear it while I'm telling it. I hear it later, you know, a couple of days down the road when I'm listening back again and I'm like, oh, damn, yeah, you know, I, then I can start connecting my own dots. So um, I'm using this channel and all of these videos. These are tools um, and I encourage you to take advantage of all of the tools in the archive i see you guys in the archives watching the old videos um and getting what you need and that's exactly why it's here okay so let's get into it um i decided to do a, a different kind of i'm using my usual spread but i'm using an oracle deck in in the placements um very interesting story i do believe that this is um karmic collective energy um it feels like right now somebody is um kind of going through some mental hurdles this feels very much like eight eight of swords nine of swords energy um lots of rumination i feel as though there's someone here who is currently at a crossroad needing to make certain decisions and if they're not at a crossroad 
Um, I think the crossroad is more, I, I, I want to say it's kind of like, um, not a literal crossroad, because this feels like someone having to adjust their sales is what I heard, adjust their sales. So when you adjust your sales, you're usually changing directions or modifying the direction that you're going in just a little bit, right? Um, it feels like someone here is not only going, you know, through this rumination process, but I do see where, you know, while spirit is kind of leading someone forward, this person, and I can kind of see it because this is the background energy, somebody's having a difficult time kind of taking their eye off of what they're walking away from. Um, what I find really interesting too is though, while this person is still kind of being led forward, I do think that this person is still <clears throat> wearing a mask. And it's funny because I just posted on Twitter. I'm like, you know, I got a download about like fraud, fraud people, fraudulent folks who are wearing a mask who have been parading around as someone that they're not. Those masks are falling off and people are actually seeing who these folks are like neptune retrograde like literally they're seeing these folks how they are right in the recent past i feel like they were being led to kind of think about the steps that they're taking and the direction that their life is going in i can see all over this board that spirit has been trying to guide someone and the energy has been very resistant um whoever i'm talking about has been really rooted in past experiences and living living out of their south node this is somebody who is not not really prepared to move into the future or not really prepared to walk away from things in the past like the past is literally the past you can't do anything about it you can't change it you know you can be sad about it sure but what is that going to do for you and I feel like spirit's been kind of like trying to shake somebody up like, hey, pay attention to what's happening here. And now you need to start thinking about the things that are going on in your life, especially if they're currently at a crossroad where they're having to move forward, make certain changes in their lives that require them to walk away from something from their past, which is literally their south node <clears throat> um, in the environment. It feels like there's something that because i've i've talked about this in other readings where we you know folks are making willful decisions and having to deal with their the ramifications of their actions kind of looks like this here um it feels like somebody who wasn't afraid to initiate certain things um but now they're in a position to where they're unable to continue doing those things. Um, they're unable to continue. Now I'm also seeing too, it feels like someone here was trying to initiate some type of change. There is been some like, I'm getting manifesting energy, but it feels like it's been manifested from, um, from a, a low vibrational position because it feels like the blowback that they're getting it's not there it's not producing um it's not producing the results that they were looking for um i kind of feel like this talks about that breakdown of the group where if we had someone here that had kind of been a ringleader and had you know snared other people into their plan to help them execute whatever this is it feels like whatever they're getting ready to go through or whatever they're currently going through they're having to go through it alone they do not have the support they they don't have support and based on the cards that i have around here i do have mending and regeneration both in the reverse so regardless of what the situation is um there will be no reconciliation no bringing things back together um, somebody is having a difficult time going with the flow, but I believe, what did we say like two readings ago, like this, somebody here is connecting dots. Now this person is connecting dots. And I think this person is also recognizing that whatever they're going through, especially when it comes to 
reconciling with you collective i think this person is is truly understanding that that's not in the cards they're they're having i don't even like using it like intuition I mean, we all have intuition even if even even if certain higher levels of it have been stripped this person intuitively understands and knows that there won't be any bringing this back together okay now part of um the fears and concerns um it feels like whatever they were trying to do they're worried because i think they were looking for things to line up in a certain amount of time and that is not what is happening or it hasn't that's not what happened um the blockage for this person stems around their because i'm seeing it here somebody here was trying to either create acquire some type of or manifest some type of ten of cups situation where um i feel like it's largely revolving around um money and finances i feel like somebody really kind of banked on obtaining or reaching a certain goal they were unable to do it <clears throat> um and it kind of feels like what they're doing right now is they're creating their own vortex remember i said like in the very beginning like their current energy they're they're ruminating they're creating this space because that what you think about is what you create right so this person if they're lacking in finances or if they're they're in a position where things are not lining up that's where their focus is so their focus is on the fact that things aren't lining up things aren't working out the way that they that they had planned or hoped or you know wished or whatever right but because they're spending all their time ruminating and focusing on all the things that didn't go right it just continues to not go right that what you focus on is what you create anytime you see 111 11 11 those are markers at that time what are you thinking about right now because what you think about is what you manifest you create your own reality based on the way that you perceive your reality this person currently is perceiving the fact that they're running out of time they don't have a second chance things are not lining up and therefore things are not lining up they're stuck in this they're stuck in a space of creating the chaos that they are experiencing they are creating the chaos around them right now um and i don't even think that they're consciously aware that they're creating the chaos around them um and that's also one of their lessons part of the lesson is for them to understand that whole dynamic of of what you think about is what you create this is about harnessing that we all have the capability of doing that you know the law of attraction is a real thing but i'm kind of getting this person who's using it the wrong way the best course of action here for this person it kind of feels like because they chose not to take corrective action over whatever it was that they weren't afraid to do they have to be really flexible in because they are getting ready to experience an entirely new life and not when i say a whole an entirely new life it's going to be like an entirely new life compared to the life that they were living before so because this is kind of giving me like wheel of fortune energy um if at one point they were you know high on the wheel and everything was great now they're on the opposite end of the wheel and they're having to adjust to a new reality but while adjusting to that new reality they're going to have to be really flexible in the way that things are carried out i think based on the cards here this person whoever this is had a tendency or an expectation like i said up here because I, I see that up here they had an expectation of things going the way that they want them to go and in this energy at this time what this person needs to understand is that they don't have control over anything 
that they literally need to bow down and kind of allow God to do whatever God's going to do in this circumstance. Okay. All right. So let's pull these back. And that was interesting. Let's pull these back and go into tarot. Let's see. Let's use this deck. Hope everybody is doing good. Hope everybody had a good weekend. <clears throat> Okay. <laughs> All right. So we know we're in the pre shadow of Mercury retrograde, right? <laughs> You have someone coming here. Okay, I'm going to tell you what this looks like. <laughs> I'm annoyed already. You have somebody wanting to come towards you. Um, and this is definitely somebody that you've previously walked away from. You walked away from them because I feel like... I want to say, I think the person you were dealing with spoke with a forked tongue often um i feel like this i feel like the nature of the relationship um may have been very confusing for you you may have poured a lot of love into this person um at this time i have someone here who is dealing with some stability issues um I do feel as though they're very angry at the fact that you walked away. <clears throat> I also feel as though um, I kind of get the energy that this person at and you may not even be fully aware of it just because and I'm just I'm speaking. I'm going to kind of speak for myself here. Um, because energetically you understand or I mean if you're watching my videos you kind of know what's going on but you don't actually see evidence of it right you don't it's just energy but you can feel it energetically I'm kind of feeling like this person whoever we're talking about um, I have a masculine card and a feminine card take it how it resonates but somebody is definitely feeling very much on the outside. Um, and the thing about it is, I think that you are being very protective of yourself. Because I think you realize that if you deal with them, that it energetically, like if this person is experiencing some kind of losses you understand that engaging or entertaining them or exchanging energy with them could potentially also lead you to experience losses. Um, what I find really interesting is that the person that's coming towards you, um, this is somebody who has been talking big shit about you since you left. And they don't think that you know. Or they've tried very hard, or, or or at least they thought they were being clever at keeping keeping those things from you.
Okay. So, I wish you could hear the whole dialogue that's going on in my head right now. Because <laughs> I'm looking at these cards and I'm seeing all these people. All right. So, listen. Whoever you are dealing with, and this goes back to, I want to say, I did a, re I just scrolled through, I did a reading like maybe, I don't know, five, six months ago where I talked about, I think the title is something like King of Cups uh, was coming back for his, the King of Cups was coming back for his Ten of Cups, or coming back for what he thought was his Ten of Cups. What I find really interesting is, this is somebody... <clears throat> Who I want to say put they put financial pursuits and whoring above connection and relationship, right? Um, I feel like this person was very much in and out of your life. This is somebody who was really focused on, you know, making money and and having money and having things, and you know, where, where there's money, there are hoes. Um, this person operated in a way now I want to I'm not going to just outright say that they were cruel for some this person may have been very cruel um, but what I'm seeing here is somebody who was very detached didn't really share their emotions or 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 give emotion or show their love um, they hid their feelings um, they hid their feelings. They lied to themselves. They lied to you. Um, and now <clears throat> this person is on definitely on the outside and they're on the outside. I did say somebody here was still, even though they're being led to move away from the past and move towards the future, this person is still wearing a mask. This person may be watching you on social media, looking you up. Um, they could be watching you from fake accounts because this guy, this, this page is wearing a mask, could be watching you from, you know, fake accounts or whatever. Um, wow, this is really interesting. I'm seeing a couple of things. This person may have also walked like if they may have walked away from you like maybe you at one point you might have wanted some kind of a commitment with them and this person just like strung you along um <clears throat> i'm also seeing here where this person like if you're if it's almost like because this kind of shows me like what this person is witnessing because they are watching you what they're witnessing they're watching you because they do want to make a return they don't like being on the outside um but the other thing that I'm seeing here is that they may also be if at one point this person thought you were like mentally unstable because I do have this energy. It feels like somebody there is even like, OK, <clears throat> this could even look like somebody telling lies because I'm seeing it a bunch of different ways, like because it's not the energy that people have been projecting, whatever is being projected out about you is not your true energy what did i say at the top of the reading like people are going to start seeing the fakes like they're going to see it they're going to know who's real and they're going to know who's fake collective i feel like your connection to the divine is visible people are seeing that so if somebody so it's kind of like if this person thought that you were unstable and depressed and mentally ill or whatever um what they're seeing is they're seeing your devotion to spirit. They're seeing how much in control you actually are. They, they're seeing you boss up. My issue with them coming back onto the scene is the fact that they walked away or they may have <clears throat> walked away from you because they thought or, you know, alluded to the fact that you were mentally unstable. But the only reason why they're coming back is because you are the stable one. You are the stable one. Now I also see too, if if that's not if this isn't you in this emperor energy, they may also be witnessing the fact that you have now committed yourself to someone else. Someone who does actually 
um, show up for you, right? Because this is totally opposite energy of this person. This is what real success looks like. <laughs> um, they may be witnessing the fact that you've committed yourself to someone else. You've committed yourself to someone who actually does lead, who actually does, you know, reciprocate energy. Somebody who is, you know, a good husband, a good father for, for those of you who are married. This person may actually, it's kind of like there's a lie here because what I'm seeing, it's almost like I see a lie here of this could go in so many different directions i'm trying to just with these few cards out here i'm trying to like hit every one of them because this kind of also looks i said there was somebody here that was spreading lies maybe it been spreading lies and rumors about you know like your character who you are and who you you know how you operate or whatever especially once you've departed as soon as you walked away from it the lies started right i've said in other readings you became the target the moment you decided to walk away and this kind of looks like somebody here spreading you know spreading rumors and lies or whatever about you being you know being a whore being unstable you know that you that you're broke and that you don't have shit going on for yourself and what someone is witnessing thank you spirit what someone is witnessing is not that what they're witnessing is that you are incredibly stable you are incredibly devoted you are trustworthy people trust you um people trust you because you're smart they trust you because the information you give is solid they trust you because your ass is a boss so you are not the person that had that this that this person may have been lying about like there's this really weird energy this could be a feminine energy lying to a masculine energy and this masculine energy is actually seeing it now like oh damn So now because this person, somebody, because some, and I don't know who lied, like I'm based on the way the cards are laying, there was a lie here. And now based on this lie, based on the new information that this person is seeing, now they're in deep regret. I want to say for, if, if you were mistreated at some point because of this false narrative that somebody put out, this somebody here is definitely feeling the regret. They feel regret for listening to this woman or listening to this man i mean it literally could be either one and in order to oh god what this looks like this looks like part of that storyline where we talk about <clears throat> A masculine turning away from a feminine he chooses someone else he chooses someone else um, whatever the narrative that was put out about the collective about being you know broke and bust broke down busted un, you know it, unstable and men mentally you know mentally shook and and um, a whore <laughs> like literally this card to me even it doesn't mean that but that's what i see when i look at this card um that you're a bad mother and that you're codependent and all this other shit right this person this person wifed up someone or went into partnership with someone who is exactly what this person was lying to them about like so all of the things that this person somebody here lied again i don't know if it's this man or this woman i think it was this woman though someone here lied about the character of the collective and so this person this other person this masculine energy over here thinking that they were making a better decision they were avoiding the drama with dealing with the collective and let me avoid the drama dealing with collective. Well, let me 
choose someone else, the person they chose turned out to be exactly what had been described to them about you. Please, I hope this is, I hope you're following. <laughs> um, and now, because they've had some time, I said they, they may have been watching you on social media, they're watching you and they're watching you from fake accounts. And what they see is literally not that. What they see, you, they... This person may have projected that you were selfish and that you were greedy and that you were codependent on. What they see is you're a boss. Like you're literally you you like you grew up. So I don't know how long ago you were dealing with this person, but whoever you were when you were with them, that's not who you are right now. Um you're stable, you're independent, um you're very generous, you're you only and it's interesting because this person at one point again because like i said i just in my mind i also think that this person that you were dealing with collective kind of had some horish ways they were spreading it thin um i feel like now they're feeling regretful that they viewed you the way that they did um and I feel like now they want to kind of come in and make things. I feel like somebody wants to come back and make things right. Or at least want to try to initiate some type of rebuilding of the relationship. Yeah. But here's the problem. Because I'm looking at the way these cards are kind of connected you may have someone and see and it's still connected to this woman i don't like her i still don't like the energy of these two together i'm also seeing too if somebody here chose like say they chose another person if this person were to come to you because I do see them coming back, like trying to, let's try to kumbaya here, and I understand the error of my ways, I want to be reciprocal to you, but you know, let's try to work together, right, here's my problem, it's still connected to this woman, so the way that I'm looking at this, is even though this woman may have told this man over here, some lies about the collective, even though he sees that what he was told isn't really true he's still connected to this woman in some kind of way this woman or the woman that he's married to because i do have counterparts here and they're both in the reverse um so this man may have married his this this man may have connected with a karmic he may have connected with a karmic and now he wants to come kumbaya with you again i eh. i mean i'll clarify but this doesn't feel comfortable to me. I wouldn't. Again, I ain't telling you what to do. <laughs> I'm just telling you I wouldn't do it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, so this person, yes. Okay, so here's the crazy part. So whatever this woman told him, she may have known who you are to this man child i hope i'm just i hope i'm explaining this right because <laughs> what i see is like there was this lie or it was like again you were you were shrouded and veiled from someone hidden by way of a lie and now this person is in regret because they recognize who you are now and you know i don't really get i don't get down with the twin flame shit i don't even like talking about it but if if we had to go down that road it, that's what this looks like it's almost like now there is this recognition that you were you were right there in front of him the entire time you were right there in front of them the entire time and because they were afraid of this person, I want to say this person is, uh, may be like, a, have issues with commitment. Um, this person may have uh, commitment issues. <laughs> um, so they avoided it. They, like, they literally tried to avoid it. They, they didn't want to be, 
It's so crazy. This person avoided commitment with you, chose somebody else, right? And the relationship they chose, now what they're seeing, they're realizing um, that what they chose did nothing but cause them burdened all because of the lie because they because they listened to this woman and i'm seeing it he was if he was afraid of commitment i want to say and now he's feeling nine of swords like he's feeling very very she's feeling trapped and he's like going just like I said in the, in the first spread, like there was like a lot of mental, this <clears throat> rumination, feeling trapped, um, up at night. But this person recognizes now, just from the center row, they know, they recognize who you are. They're devastated. Yep. Well, <laughs> this person has no choice but to like let your energy go. They've got to let you go. Um, what I'm seeing here is, and I'm going to read from the bottom of the deck because that's, that tells a little bit more to this, gives them a little bit more context to the story. But when I tell you this person is, they're devastated. They're devastated that they listened to this person. And because all it really did was create, it just created a bunch of drama in their life. Um, I immediately heard that, um, michael jackson got me working day and night like i feel like this person throws themselves into work um mainly to like avoid having to think about you or to distract themselves from having to think about you This person's kicking themselves. They're kicking themselves because they lost, I want to say, they lost the love of their life because they were scared. They were scared to work together. And instead, they got this, they got somebody here who was, you know, codependent and, and selfish and greedy. And here you are, generous and loving and, you know, kind. And that's not what they got. <clears throat> I also kind of get the impression too they're a little bit reluctant to come towards you because um, based on what I saw at the bottom it's like they want to come towards you right <clears throat> and they're they've been actually waiting for some kind of communication um, either communication or travel I, I do get the impression here I, I'm seeing it in a couple of places where if they wanted to come towards you they're currently unable to do that they're not able to travel um, so this person may be wanting to communicate with you i heard whisper sweet nothings please don't do that um okay don't shoot the messenger because i know it's going to piss some of y'all off but this i just heard somebody wants to come back home and i know just based on my comment section that i know there's a bunch of y'all ain't not trying to hear that <laughs> you're not trying to hear that this person wants to come back home they're feeling very nostalgic they want to come back home and try to like change the dynamic of of the relationship that you have now because currently it's in disharmony and they want to kind of restructure or try to recalibrate the foundation however there is no energy here supporting reconciliation and they have to let you go they have to let you go they're just trying so hard this is not this is not what they wanted but the thing is they rejected you repeatedly for in favor of someone else because of manipulation they want to apologize for that 
Wow. Actually, no, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do that. Uh, I'm gonna grab a stack of index cards because that was for 40 minutes. <laughs> that was a pretty interesting uh, story we got here. All right, so let's get some index cards. We have foster child or someone in foster care. Somebody has a big ego. Somebody's being left behind or fear that they're being left behind. Someone misjudged you. Someone is throwing rocks and hiding their hands. Someone is unfaithful. You humbled them all. Somebody's in a mental prison. Someone needs healing. Whatever love that was there is gone now. There's an older woman that may be of significance. The month of April could be of significance. Could be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus. Somebody purposely misled you to keep you confused. Somebody does things for attention. Someone here is not taking responsibility. You are protected. You're God's chosen one. Someone's keeping secrets or kept secrets. Someone's life is in turmoil. We have an older man here is present. Somebody made foolish mistakes. I'm going to take these last four. This is a blessing in disguise. There's a new cycle of abundance here. Somebody is losing hope. And somebody's second house is being affected. Their money or personal finances or sense of worth and their possessions. All right. Um... Yeah, I think I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave this one here and then we'll I'll clean this up and we'll start another reading. All right. Uh, any parts of this reading resonated for you, gave you clarity or confirmation um, of your own story and what you already know. Give the video a thumbs up so we can circulate it to those who need the message the most. Um, honestly, what this looks like, it just looks like somebody here took some really bad advice from this woman. Somebody took really bad advice from this woman. Um, and as much as I feel like they, it's interesting because I'm seeing the way, just kind of where the cards are placed as much as they want to come towards you or they want to come back currently they're, they're unable to, they're unable to, or I want to say their path is being blocked. So there's that. All right, guys, um, I'm going to leave it there. And we'll come back and do another reading. All right. I love you guys. Till next time. Bye.